This is the second video for section 1.1, 1 .1, uh, and this is where we're going to do an example of calculating average velocity. So let's suppose that a panda moves at a distance s of t given by the equation 4t squared plus 3 meters from its starting point in t seconds. I would like to know what is the average velocity on the interval 1 to 1 plus h. Notice here that we are computing the average velocity on an interval that involves a parameter. That is what that term, that um, variable h is called. And so what this will allow us to do is once we have a, a formula in terms of a parameter, then I can plug in any value I want for h and I can calculate average velocity very easily. So this is uh, one way in which mathematicians make our lives a bit easier. So to do this, we need to first recall what is the formula for average velocity. Remember, it's change in distance over change in time. So the average velocity on the interval 1 to 1 plus h is going to be s of 1 plus h minus s of 1 over 1 plus h minus 1. And now I need to evaluate that, those functions at the point 1 plus h and at the point 1. So I do that and I get 4 times 1 plus h quantity squared plus 3 minus 4 times 1 squared plus 3 divided by h because 1 plus h minus 1 is just h. Now I'm going to do some simplification here. And what you should do is you should simplify yourself and then check back in with me to make sure we agree. So I will use FOIL to expand out 1 plus h squared, and I get 4 times 1 plus 2h plus h squared, plus 3, minus 4, minus 3. That minus sign um, distributes through that whole second uh, expression, all divided by h. And now the, that plus 3 minus 3 cancels. I multiply the 4 through, and I get 4 plus 8h plus 4h squared minus 4 divided by h. I have a plus 4 minus 4, so those add to 0. And what I'm left with is 8h plus 4h squared divided by h. So I can factor out an h here, but what I will notice is this is what I call a careful cancel. So we have an H on top and an H on the bottom. We can only cancel two numbers if they are not zero. Zero over zero is not equal to one. And that is what we're using when we cancel something that's in the numerator and the denominator. We're using the fact that a number divided by itself is equal to one. However, it is not true that 0 over 0 equals 1, and we're going to see some examples of that in the semester. So I, this is something I am going to repeat, 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 and you must uh, justify. If you are going to cancel things, you must make an argument as to why they are not 0. And in this case, why is h not 0? Well, let's think about what h means. h is the length of our interval on which we are calculating the average velocity. And what we know about average velocity is we have to compute it on an interval that has a, a non-zero length. So that is why h cannot be zero, because we're calculating average velocity on the interval 1 to 1 plus h. So my conclusion after my careful cancel is that the average velocity on the interval from 1 to 1 plus h is 8 plus 4h, and my units are meters per second. So now I'm going to use this formula to calculate average velocity on some specific intervals. So the first interval I want to calculate the average velocity on is the interval from 1 to 1.2. And here, notice that I want to figure out what h is. So that's the average velocity on the interval from 1 to 1 plus 0.2. So that means 0.2 is h. Now I can use the formula I just derived, and the average velocity is 8 plus 4 times 0.2, which is 8.8 .8 meters per second. I won't forget those units. Now, 
when we are in the case of the average velocity on the interval from 0.8 to 1, notice that it's just a convention that we write intervals with the smaller number on the left-hand side. That's, that's the convention that we use. So indeed, our argument um, when we derive the average velocity, we also showed that if h was a negative number, that the average velocity on the interval from 1 plus h to 1 was still 8 plus 4h meters per second. We just write it in a different order because adding a negative number to 1 gives me a number smaller than 1. So, in this case, if I write 0.8 as 1 plus something, it's 1 plus negative 0.2, so that's my h value, which means that my average velocity is 8 plus 4 times negative 0.2, which gives me a 7.2 meters per second. Now, let's make a conjecture about the instantaneous velocity at time t equals 1. So we've calculated average velocity on two different intervals. Can we guess what the instantaneous velocity should be at time t equals 1? So my average velocity on the interval from 1 to 1 plus h what is 8 plus 4h meters per second. And we saw that that expression worked for both h being positive and h being negative. So as h gets closer and closer to 0, either positive or negative, what is happening to the quantity h plus, 8 plus 4h? Well, we're adding something smaller and smaller to 8, so this is going to 8 meters per second. And that, indeed, is our guess as to the instantaneous velocity. And we'll confirm rigorously that, indeed, that is the case. So your exercise for this section is z of t is t squared minus 1, where t is measured in seconds and z of t is measured in feet. That's my position function. I want you to find the average velocity on the interval from 2 to 3, and don't forget those units.